Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your holy name. Thank him for he loves you. He created you. And he has a future for you. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for loving me. Creating me. And thank you for my future. Give me the grace to follow you to heaven. You may be seated. Good morning. study and for your exams. So, we shall see how much it will be communicated to you either in your dream you have received 70 or 50 or 20 or nothing at all. It is so dangerous. So what? So what? Dangerous. You are not on a regular time here. No, sir. So watch so that you don't lose your time. So that you don't lose your coming here. So that you don't lose any mark. Others came here by a dream. They are not supposed to be here. Somebody will tell me, no, pastor, you called me here. No, I saw you in the dream. That is why I'm here. You are here on Jesus' invitation. <laughs> Honor that invitation. So that you may achieve a great mark. Yes? The Bible says, Christ Jesus shows himself stronger to those who depend on him. He shows himself stronger to those who depend on him. And the gospel is the power of God unto salvation for those who believe. It is not something a religious, not something a group. We are a group of people, we are Wakanda ministries, we are gathered here. Who told you we are from different churches? Mark this. 
we are from different nations. We are from different communities. Mark that. But why are we here? What is the purpose? Others, you are here. You dreamt that. Huh? I dreamt that I had gone back to school. In which class? Hmm. In the primary. Me, a mature man, a mature woman. To dream that I am in a primary school. Spiritually, you are a primary kid. No, I dreamt that I am sitting my exams. College. These are the exams you are sitting. How many are in primary school? I dream that I have gone back to the primary school. Put up your hand and tell us. My name is Rachel Mibisen and I come from Germany. Mm. Um, thank you, man of God, to have me here. I'm humbled. I dreamt in primary school with some children and I was in uniform. And uh, I saw my sister and I saw my brother, but I didn't understand what I was doing in school. And maybe you can... This is the school you dreamt? Yes. What are you doing here? Learning. Put the word learning. So, some people go to school to study, write the word study. And you ask them, what are you doing these days? No, I have uh, some business. But what did you study? A lawyer. Why are you not a lawyer? He studied, but he never learned. Yes? Studying Just right, still adding. Put down A, M, plus A, plus N. Read it. A man. A plus M plus A plus N means when you go to the school, you add letters. I'm studying. I'm still adding to make a word, a sentence. Write a sentence. I'm not teaching English, no. To send a sense. So, studying, you add A plus M plus A plus N, a man. Is going I plus S and is a, a man A plus M plus A plus N a man mm -hmm. I plus S plus uh, G plus O plus I plus N by going now this is a sentence sentence you are sending a sense to somebody's mind or ears. And when you say, lul, lul, that is no sense. That is no sense. Somebody has not, <laughs> he has not understood it because he, lul, 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 lul. that's no sense. You are not sending any sense to us because you're lul, 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 lul. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where 
are you? I'm in school doing what? Studying. I'm still adding these letters to make a sentence. In order, when I finish, I will be speaking to people or talking to people and make a sense. But learning is something else. You go to the school to study, to add or whatever, something what you lean on. Put the word leaning. Now I'm leaning on this pillar. If I'm a doctor, I'm leaning on this what I studied. To eat, to drink, to get money, to help others, to do everything I'm leaning on treating people. <laughs> Why are you wondering? Because I've seen your methods in the YouTube and they are really amazing. Now I'm leaning on a pillar. You become a farmer because you are being there, you should lean on something in order to survive. So some people go to school to learn or to study what they will lean on. Some people go to school just to study and they will never lean on what they studied in the school. So you are here to study yes. on what you lean on, on yes. the rest of your life. Yes. Thank you, thank you. So there's a lot you missed. Yes. Though you are educated, yes. a lot you missed yes. in the Bible. Yes. You did not study it. No. Now you are here. That is why you saw yourself in the primary. So you need to study a lot. Yes. On the Bible side. Yes. On God's side. Yes. In order to achieve what you lean on the rest of your life. Yes. Up to heaven. Yes. Because we here, we are pilgrims. We are here for a time, but we deceive ourselves as if we are comfortable. Hmm. <laughs> Who told you we are here for a time? Our place heaven. is in heaven. We are citizens of heaven. Yeah. But what language shall we talk in heaven? What will you be doing in heaven? Christ Jesus is passing. Ah, we heard about him. He's there. Hey, Jesus, uh, go, go, go. I'm still doing my own things. Such people who do not know Jesus will never be entertained in heaven. I said, no. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing blood? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Hey! Are you fully trusting in His grace each hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Those who be happy excited when they see him. Where is oh, This is the man who saved me. I was sick. <laughs> Jesus! You know, you remember on 23rd, I was sick, I was sick. Yeah, you healed me, thank you. Thank These are the people who be welcomed in heaven. Who knows him? Who loves him? Who... <clears throat> None of those who do know him, they just look at him and say, ah, let Jesus pass. No heaven for you. Who ignore him? No heaven for you. So you are here to study. 
add a letter to letter, a word to a word, when I will see him in heaven, what will I say? This is very important. Does your situation make you like Sedak, Mesak, and Abednego, or you are complaining of the fires around you? I pity you. The day, if a chance be to you, you see Sedak, Mesak, and Abednego in heaven. Sedak, Mesak, Abednego. These are the people whom Jesus saved from the fires. They will come to meet the Lord Jesus. What a glory. What a honor. Then they will start narrating how they trusted God. Then the film comes how they were thrown into the fire and how they survived and how Jesus entered. What a glory, the whole heaven. <laughs> Does your situation today make you like Sedak, Mesak, and Abednego? What is your situation? Are you just complaining? God, why me? Why this problem? <laughs> you may call it a problem. When it is not a problem, it is a situation whereby you must trust God, depend on Him, and then at a given moment He shows Himself stronger. And at a given day in heaven, you shall be called. This is the woman who trusted God at her situation, and the Lord Jesus came. And they healed her. Woman, thank you for trusting God. Go to that place. Why are you wondering? Good morning. Good. Man of God, my name is uh, Apostle M. Mpumela John from South Africa. I've been a pastor for the past over 12 years. But today, I feel like I've never been a man of God because of the things that you are teaching. And I'm surprised because you spoke about the dreams we had about us being a class, it being in a class. I had a dream, I was in a class, and the class was the Kakande ministry, and you were teaching, just like you are doing right now. God bless you, Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Mwanza from Zambia, man of God. Um, today I'm perplexed because of what you are teaching us. I think the previous year I had had dreams of being in school. And the last one frightened me so much because I was told to go in the same class where I was the previous year. And I was complaining. He was complaining. My name is Lydia, I'm from Kenya. What man of God has shared about dreams has made me remember an experience I had when he said that the test, the exams we are doing in the dream are from God. There was a time I was going a lot of challenges. Then I used to complain, complain. Then at night I was told that because you complained, I was given 28%. And I was you were given how much? 28%. And I was told I have failed. I have to repeat the class. It took me another six months to be in the same situation. After six months, I've been jobless for three years. I got a job. That job only lasted one month. Then when I was sacked from that job, now I started thanking God in my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Two days later, now a dream came. I was now given 78%. I was told now half past. So it is true. Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is uh, Fiona from Tanzania. I had a dream when you were teaching us, but you told us, first go and wash your legs. And say, why tells us to go and wash our legs? 
Yet we are going for that class. And the other time, I had another dream when I'm in primary school. And I say, mm, God, why am I in primary school? I started praying and said that this is like a setback. John 13, verse 5 to 10. After that, he poured water in a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel with which he was guarded. Then he came to Simon Peter, and Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I'm doing you do not understand now, but you will know after this. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He who was bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not all of you. I'm George Ongachi from Kenya. Professionally, I'm a teacher. Uh, I've been having such dreams, prophet man of God, that I'm getting back to school where I used to do exams from when I was in secondary school, then I, was, I would complain. Why am I getting back to high school and the exams are approaching as from tomorrow and yet I'm not ready? It worries me. I even told my students that and they were laughing at me that one day you'll come back to our class and study with us. Okay, I'm Anton Wakoko from Kenya. I always dreamed that I'm in class one. I always found myself in secondary school, so I always complain about this one in my church. And the people always laugh on me, they say I have a little faith. I think this can show you where we are now. God can allow a situation. And that situation for a certain purpose. And that situation for a certain promotion. Not because he hates you or he doesn't love you, but the people who have not experienced God in their lives, it will be very difficult for them to believe him even at the last day on the earth. You've heard of Jesus, but you have never known him in power. You are believing him. How are you going to be lifted from the earth? Like that? I don't think you are going to die and completely it is finished. You don't know where you are. No, sir. Oh, madam, you will just walk out and look at your body there and look at yourself, another man walking. Then your ordeal starts. People do not die, they just walk out. That is why they say they let. Yes, people travel, but they don't die but they travel to two places. Either you travel to heaven or you travel to hell. So, how lucky, how brilliant, how favorite was Sedak, Mesak, and Abednego that the Lord met them in the fire and saved them. He showed himself stronger to those who depended on him. The Lord want to show himself stronger if you can today depend on him in that situation around you. How do you know that the situation around you is like the fires of Sedrak, Mesak, and Abednego. Why do you complain? 
Say, oh Lord, oh Lord Jesus, give me the grace, me the grace to, completely to completely depend on you. Depend on you. This, situation this situation around me, around me. It, is for my it is for my promotion. It is for the salvation, for the salvation of my soul. Of my soul. Give me, the grace Give me the grace to stop complaining, to stop complaining. Because, I because I know the Bible says, the Bible says Christ, Jesus Christ Jesus shows himself stronger, shows himself stronger to those who depend on him. Jesus, Jesus, I'm here, I'm here to depend on you. Depend on you. This, situation, this situation, allow me, allow me to, be to be promoted. You don't know what is going on. I have problems. Who told you that you have problems? The fires of Sedak, Mesa, and Abednego were problems. He allowed it, but he knew that he would be there with them. Maybe he allowed the situation, and he knows he would be. <laughs> Hallelujah! 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 Daniel chapter 3, verse 16, 17, 18. Sadraj! Message and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he'll deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Verse 23. And these three men, Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste, and he spoke, saying to his counselors, Hmm. Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king, look! Hmm. He answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they're not hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Hallelujah! I wish you well Amen. in your fires Amen. because I know, Amen. I know, Amen. I know Amen. he who promise Amen. is faithful. Amen. He'll be with you Amen. and you'll come out victorious. Amen. He shows himself stronger to those who depend on him. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation to those who believe. Know that the situation is around you. No. Which test will make you like Sedok, Mesak, and Abednego? Which test? What is that thing which will make you being celebrated in heaven. Do you think that when Daniel will appear, you too you can line up with him? The day you ignore to sit your test and you call it a problem, you have ignored your success. Testimony, test management, how you manage the test. My name is so and so, I'm here to give a testimony. This is how I manage the test. So you came here and the Lord helped you to manage your test. Now the people have seen you that you managed your test. Now they are asking, how did you manage your test? That Jesus who made you manage the test, can we pray together and ask him 
that we too can manage our test. This is the gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Rise up, rise up. Say, O oh Lord Jesus. O oh Lord Jesus. Here I am. Here I am. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Here I am. Here I am. Locate me. Locate me. Jesus. Jesus. I receive you. I receive you. Into my life. Into my life. Send thy spirit. Send thy spirit. Into my life. Into my life. To be my guide. To be my guide. From now, from now up to heaven. Up to heaven. Jesus. From your heart? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ is locating many right now. Jesus. The Holy Spirit is moving in the congregation. Locating everyone who has called upon his attention. What you're witnessing, brethren, is a special move of the Holy Ghost power. The Lord Jesus Christ is locating many for their deliverance. The deliverance is going on for many in Jesus' mighty name. Watch the screen of television, brethren. You can watch many people in the congregation being touched by the power of the Holy Spirit and they are being delivered. The Holy Spirit has located them in the name of Jesus Christ. Special move of the Holy Spirit power. This is the working of the Holy Spirit who is setting them free from every demonic bondage, from all powers of darkness. See what is happening right now? Deliverance is taking place in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. 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 Watch on the screen of a television. All those who are calling upon the name Jesus Christ are being touched. Jesus. The Lord Jesus is locating them for their deliverance. <coughs> Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, is moving in the congregation. It's time for deliverance. <laughs> Call upon Jesus. Ask the Lord Jesus to locate you. Call the name Jesus. Ask Jesus to locate you wherever you are. You can watch on the screen. People have started vomiting out their sicknesses. The comfort and the Holy Spirit has located them, flashing out every sickness from their bodies, from their system. You can watch on the screen. The gentleman vomiting out whatever sickness in his body. Not only one, another one, and more in the congregation are vomiting out in deliverance. You can watch on the screen, see what this person is vomiting. Pass, clots of blood and all this cancerous substance. Jesus. As you continue to call upon the name Jesus, he's present and ready to locate you right now. Say, Jesus. 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 Jesus Christ is locating many. Jesus. Be pulled out, they are being touched as the Lord Jesus Christ locates them. Locating them for their deliverance. Say, Jesus. 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 Jesus Christ, the Lord is here and present in the power of the Holy Spirit. And he's moving in the congregation to touch each and everyone who is calling upon his name. Jesus. Say, Jesus.
There's a move of Holy Spirit power. With this special prayer that is going on. As we are calling upon the name Jesus. Deliverance is taking place. Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 Hold the touch of God's power upon them. Jesus. Can watch on the screens of a television. The Lord Jesus has touched this lady and now she's vomiting out these clots of blood. All this pus and all the cancerous substances. Not only one brethren, many people are vomiting out their sicknesses right now. Jesus. 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 Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Here I am. Time for Jesus Christ to locate you. Time for Jesus to locate you. Call upon Jesus to locate you right now. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Anything in me. Anything in me. Anything in my body. Anything in my body. That is not of God. That is not of God. I flash it out. Flash it up, flash it up. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are the healer. You are the healer. I'm the temple of the living God. I'm the temple of the living God. Sickness and disease. Sickness and disease. Is not my portion. Is not my portion. Any disease, any disease, any sickness, any sickness in my body, in my body, I say, ah, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sickness and disease. Lost palm Sickness and disease. Fibro. Jesus. Lord Jesus. My body. My body. Is the temple. Is the temple. Of the living God. Of the living God. Is the temple. Is the temple. Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Oh. Holy Ghost is present on the scene, brethren. You can watch on the screens of a television. He has started the work of uprooting sickness from the lives of the brethren. You can watch and see many, many people vomiting out their sicknesses. The Holy Spirit is here to cleanse his temple, to cleanse everybody's body. Whatever sickness, whatever disease is hiding in their bodies is coming out right now. You can watch on the screen people vomiting out clots of blood, pus, all these cancerous substances. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Any blockage, any 
blockage in my body in my body in my veins in my veins in my stomach in my stomach Cancerous substance. In the cancerous substance. In my body. In my body. I command it out. I command it out. Out. Be here. Amen. Be here. Amen. Be here. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Whatever I ate. Whatever I ate. From the table of the enemy. From the table of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus. I flash it out. Pray out. Flash it out. Ten, ten, ten to flash out whatever you ate from the tip of the enemy. Flash out whatever food you ate from the dream. As you're watching on the screen, people are continuing to vomit out whatever they ate from the tip of the enemy. You can see our brethren who is vomiting out clots of blood. What you're witnessing is deliverance that is taking place in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to flush out whatever sickness, whatever disease, whatever food you ate from the table of the enemy. This is the time for it to come out. The Holy Spirit is present to effect the work. Be delivered. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. In the spirit. In the spirit. Be it a sensual spirit. That causes my life set back. That causes my life set back. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command it out. Prayer. Out. In the spirit that causes you set back. Command it out. Whether a sense to spirit, whether witchcraft. Continue to pray, continue to pray as you watch on the screen of my television. First, we are commanding every witchcraft, every ancestral spirit to come. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. In the spirit. In the spirit. Of witchcraft. Of witchcraft. In the spirit. In the spirit. Of witchcraft. Of witchcraft. In the spirit. In the spirit. Of witchcraft. Of witchcraft. In my life. Jesus Christ. By the name of Jesus Christ. I command you. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. From your heart, from your heart. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I have seen. I have seen. And have felt. And have felt. Your presence here. Your presence here. In the demon. In the demon. In my life. In my life. Today. Today. I speak to you, demon. I speak to you, demon. Ah! whatever demon in your life to come out open your lips and pray command command whatever demon in your life to come out say lord jesus lord jesus in the spirit in the spirit that hinders my development that hinders my development i break you i break you i remove you i remove you i destroy you i destroy you in jesus might name jesus your hindrance, Your hindrance in, my life. in my life be broken. Be broken. Prayer. 
any hindrance in your life be broken be broken Say, Lord Jesus, Jesus, any chain, any chain that the devil had used, that the devil had used to chain himself, to chain himself on me, on me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, this chain, this chain, I break it now, I break it now, whether chain of witchcraft, whether chain of witchcraft, whether chain of demon, whether chain of demon, whether chain of ancestral spirits. I break in Jesus' name. Break it, break it, break it, that chain. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Break those chains of the demons. Whatever chains the devil used to connect himself to you. Time to break those chains. Break it, break it, break it. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I can see. I can see. My freedom. My freedom. I cannot remain the same. I cannot remain the same. I'm in your presence. I'm in your presence. Anything put me on bondage. Anything put me on bondage. Be broken now in Jesus' name. Break it. Anything put you on bondage. Be broken. That bondage be broken. That bondage be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Break it. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Locate me. Locate me. Any barrier. Any barrier. Between me and my God. Between me and my God. Whether complaining. Whether complaining. Whether doubt. Whether doubt. I command you. Oh, Be delivered. I receive. Be delivered. I receive. Be healed. I receive. Be healed. I receive. Be healed. I receive. Be healed. I receive. Be delivered. I receive. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Those who are vomiting remain down, vomiting. Those who are not vomiting, sit. We are still continuing in prayer. Be in an attitude of prayer. You can watch on the screen and see what people have vomited out in deliverance. This person has vomited blood and all these cancerous substances. You can watch on the screen. All these people are continuing to be delivered. Watch on the screen. See this brother who has vomited blood. Another one has vomited these yellowish pus substances. The cancerous substances. The very sickness that was hiding in their bodies has come out. My name is Tanya Ellis. I was, I'm from the UK, but they've relocated to Zimbabwe. Since morning I was feeling an upset stomach and I tried to eat but my stomach was just upset. So when the pastor started saying be delivered, you know, the demon out, when he started saying out, out, I started feeling my stomach rising, rising and then I started vomiting blood and I was vomiting froth and I was vomiting water. This is what I vomited. You can watch on the screen the blood and all these poisonous substances our sister has vomited. The very sickness that was hiding in her body has come out. Let us thank Jesus Christ. After I'm feeling much better, my stomach is settled. I'm feeling, you know, fresh. I'm feeling okay. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. My name is James Oduot from Kenya. I came here with a complication of a, a duodenal ulcer. When the man of God was praying, 
uh, I found myself in, in, in the act of vomiting and I, I vomited the, this substance. After vomiting, I'm feeling okay and I thank the man of God and the, all the glory and honor goes to God, uh, Jesus. My name is Joyce from Kenya. I came here with the issue of kidney and abdomen pain. When he was continuing to deliver people, I started feeling like vomiting and this is what I started vomiting blood. Watching the screens of the television, brethren, see every blockage that was blocking her system, her kidneys, has come out in the form of this blood and all these blockages, the pus and all these poisonous substances. Let us give thanks to Jesus Christ, the healer. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, man of God. Praise God, church. My name is Anna Mataka Anitalima. I come from Kenya, originally in Uganda. I came here with a problem of ulcers. But now I'm free. I'm vomiting this pass and blood. I'm now feeling okay. I'm light. I'm light, brethren. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. And thank you, man of God, Prophet Samuel Gakana, for praying for me. I'm delivered. My name is Hagai Sambo. I come from Zambia. When I came, I was feeling a heaviness in my chest, and I was having gases in my stomach. Then suddenly, when the man of God was doing mass prayer, I felt something in moving from my stomach. I started vomiting by, by saliva and a mix of blood. And this is what I'm just I'm from vomiting. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for delivering. Right now, I feel free. I feel peace. I feel light. That, I thank God for this deliverance. For the, for the salvation of my soul. My name is Jackson Shepkwan. I'm from, my name is Jackson from Nakuru, Kenya. I had the heaviness in my back, but during the mass prayer, I felt like vomiting, and this is what I vomited, mucus and some blood, and I thank God for the deliverance. I feel light now up for, on my back. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Praise God. My name is Victorine from Kenya. I came with the issue of fibroids and I had pain on my left ovary and the left pelvic. After the prayers, I vomited this and there is no any pain again. I'm healed, there is no pain, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. Bless God. My name is Lucy Mombe from Kenya. I came here with an issue of blood pressure and my joint pain. When the prophet was telling us to play, flush out any sickness, I started feeling like vomiting. I vomited these substances with blood, and now I'm feeling relieved. I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. My name is Jen Gachu. I come from Kenya. Uh, when the man of God was praying, it's like uh, I felt like dizziness, and uh, from there, this is what I vomited. And before I was feeling my stomach one side like swollen, and when I eat, I feel so much discomfort. I eat retro, but now I'm feeling relieved. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for deliverance. Thank you, the man of God. My name's. Aldor, Pastor Dorcas Gedua from Kenya. I came here with severe ulcers and two days back uh, my kidneys have been aching. When the man of God was praying with us, I feel vomiting and this is what I have vomited, blood and saliva. After vomiting, I am feeling now I'm free. I'm not feeling any pain from my kidneys, from my stomach. I'm now free. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing me. Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. My name is Hilma Grace Tania Iyamo. I'm coming from Namibia. When I came here, I'm having a, a, a problem with a, a gastric chronic disease. Uh, helicobacter disease and when a man of God prayed for me I start vomiting and this is what I vomit. 
So I thank God, and after vomiting, I feel I'm released because I was releasing too much windy, and I want to vomit, and it was not coming out. After the prayers, and I vomit, I feel free, I feel relieved, and I thank God for, my stomach was becoming bigger, and I was feeling heavy at my back as well. And right now, I, I feel better. I thank Jesus for this. I thank Jesus for healing me. I thank Jesus uh, for, the, for, for he using a man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, to pray for us. My name is Paraman Lofu from South Africa. The reason that made me to come here, I was uh, having a problem with career setback and business setback. And uh, we've been troubled by witchcraft uh, in my marriage. So when the prophet was praying, um, I felt something that wanted to come out. Then that is what I vomited blood uh, out of my life. And now I feel like light and free. Thank you, Jesus. My name's uh, Ellen Nalwimba, coming from Zambia. I came here with a pain on the left side. So when the man of God started praying, I felt something moving as if I, I'm about to vomit. That's why I have vomited uh, pus mixed with uh, uh, saliva. I, I thank God for delivering me and for healing me. Now I'm feeling okay, I'm fine. There's no pain, there's nothing. I'm okay, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My, my, Walter Molandi. Kenya. My name is Walter Mulandi. I come from Kenya. I was ulcers and gastritis. After the man of God prayed for me, I felt like vomiting. This is what I vomited. Before my heart, I was feeling it is congested, but now I feel relieved. I thank God. I I thank God, I thank Jesus Christ for healing me, and I thank the man of God for praying for me. All the glory and honor back to Jesus. My name is Christine Zuru, coming from Zambia. I had the problem of bad dreams, eating in the dreams, stagnation, limitation, and even yesterday, I had a sharp pain in my stomach. I was even failing to sit properly. Even when I came here today, I was even feeling to, to sit upright. But when the man of God was praying, I started vomiting blood and blood and pus. I thank God for delivering me and my family. Thank you, Jesus. I feel better. What you have received, what is perturbing you is that you cannot see it with your physical eyes. The blessings which have come to you, you have not seen them with your physical eyes. But let me give you a simple example. Hmm? Let me throw something to you. Do you see me with anything? Eh? Now I'm going to throw something to him. Because the blessing I'm praying for you, they will go and cause an effect upon your business. Those blessings, you must take them by faith because Amen. they are done by the Spirit of God. Amen. Yes? Amen. Mm. I was thought just something small. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, watch. The man of God has thrown something small towards him. Not something physical, but he has thrown something to him. And watch, the gentleman is not stable. What is it? I don't know, man of God. Hmm? Why did you move from this place to that place? There's a force pushing me backward. Once I throw something, that will cause your business to boom like this. Yes? Yes? Let me throw it on your leg. Watch, brethren, 
The man of God has thrown something on his leg. Watch. See the way his leg is reacting and responding to what has been thrown towards it. Now I will throw something to your business. What is it? Honestly, man of God, I just see myself reacting. Hmm? And now I'm feeling this. Let me slap your dissonance. <laughs> See the way he's turning the face to the other side. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Why are you wondering? I'm Pastor James. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's Pastor James? Just, just amazing, sir. Something small like this on you. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? I feel like I'm losing balance. Huh? I'm just losing balance. Why? Why? It's like I'm dragging this. Yeah? Why? See so what is happening to him? That something that has been thrown towards him can't leave him the same. Your business cannot be the same. Your life cannot be the same. This failure defeat is no longer there. Those who have been troubling you witchcraft, it is over. The debts you have, the Lord Jesus has paid. Jesus. Father, I stretch my hand in prayer. Viewers all over the world, whichever place where you are, we are in prayer for you. Whatever the problem at home, Father, we order it to go. You to you just see yourself being touched, not knowing what is going on in your life. Mention the names of your people there while you are representing them. Oh Jesus. Oh hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Father, distance is not a barrier. All the sick they have left at home, all those in the problems at home, be delivered in Jesus' name. All those in the picture you have lifted up, be touched in Jesus' holy name. Your loved ones at home, be touched. Be touched. Be touched. Be touched. Behold this special prayer that is going on. As the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakanda, is praying for all the viewers all over the world and all the brethren here and the people they left at home. You can see how people are touched in the congregation, meaning the people they left back home are receiving deliverance right now. 
viewers over the world, those who are sick, on your bed, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive, 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 receive your portion. Receive your portion of deliverance. Receive your portion of deliverance. Receive your portion of healing. Receive your portion of deliverance. Receive your portion of deliverance. Receive your portion of deliverance. Receive your portion of healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive your portion of blessing. In Jesus we pray. And now we pray for your country. Whichever country you are coming from, the Lord of peace, may he rest his spirit upon your country. Amen. Whatever you have in your hand to represent your country. Father in Christ Jesus, Father in Christ Jesus, whatever is going on, in the whole continent, Africa, the other continents in the world, Lord Jesus, you know. Lord Jesus, may your Holy Spirit rest upon these countries where there are wars, even those who don't have wars, spiritually, financially, Lord Jesus, intervene. Amen. Lord Jesus, intervene. Amen. In their politics, intervene. Amen. In their politics, intervene. Amen. Father, put peace, Amen. prosperity, Amen. spiritually, physically, Amen. and materially. Amen. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. By the way, may you shine in your country. Amen. Those who have come here representing your country with the flag, may you shine in your country. May you shine in your country. May you shine in your country. May you be a star in your country. May you shine 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 in your country, in business, in business, in business, in transport, in the factory, in the industry, in the supermarket, in transport. May you shine. May the light of the Lord rest upon your soul, upon your heart, upon your children. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Remember failure and defeat are things of the past. Amen. This is not the end of our prayer. Amen. Yes? yes? We are continuing with the prayer. Whether you have gone back home, I'll continue to pray for you. Amen. I say I'll be praying for you. Amen. Whatever is troubling, whether in your village, whether witchcraft, whether which doctor, I'll, I'll come and confront them. Yes? I'll continue to give prophecies. Beat you at your home. Don't worry.